Hey, Claude Pallon here at Affiliate Starting Line, and welcome. This is going to be a video about uh, error page, more specifically the 404 error page. Now, very often when you're uh, online, uh, you'll type in a, a URL, and sometimes you'll make mistakes, and you get this thing that says 404, error 404, page not found. And then kind of sit there and you wonder, well, what do I go now? What do I do now? So, Google happens to hate those pages, and it, what it says here in the in the uh, Google SEO Optimization Starter Guide, which I, I did a video on, I recommend you read, is have a useful 404 page. Now this is under best practices. So if it's in the best practice page, what Google is telling you is get a 404 error page that is helpful to your user. So what does it mean by that? Well, let's take a look. Here is a WordPress trainer, and we're gonna test it out on a couple of themes. Here's a theme uh, that I installed, and uh, let's go on the back end. Let's go on the back end. There we go. Uh, it's under themes. So this is the 1020 theme, and what I want to point out to you is under the editor tab here, you come over here to, uh, to templates and you'll click your 404 template. And this is the copy that has created the error page that we're about to take a look at. Now, when this, I first got this, it said page does not exist. And then it said apologies. And I didn't like that. So I came down here and I'm not a uh, coder by any means. But I, I, I knew what I was looking for, and I saw here where the copy existed that I wanted to lose. So I got rid of it, and I typed in, I just simply typed over it, sorry, but this page does not exist. And then I see here, apologies, but for the page you requested could not be found, perhaps searching will help. So that's pretty cool. I like that. Then I clicked update. And then I went back in here, typed in gunk, all right, I said WordPress trained out if gunk because I knew that doesn't exist, and I got the error page. Now, Google likes this error page. First of all, uh, it doesn't say error 404 page does not exist. And the contrary, it says something human like, sorry, but this page does not exist. Apologies, but the page you requested could not be found. Perhaps searching will help. And then it has a search box. So if I was looking for something specific on the website that I was searching for, I type in the keyword here and search. If, if that doesn't work for me, I, or maybe I don't want to type in the search, then I have options. I can go to the home page. I would even take a look at the sitemap, which is an easy way of seeing what's on a website to see if it has what you're looking for. So this error uh, page gives me those options. It's very good. And that is what Google is looking for, an error page that makes sense. Let's take a look at another theme. This is the theme I particularly like, and that's the one I normally run on this site. So now I've changed themes, okay? I've changed themes. I'm gonna come back here to gunk. I'm gonna refresh. And here's the error page for this particular theme. And it says, sorry, that page seems to be missing. Please head back to the home page or perform a search. Well, that's beautiful. That's right, that's simple. Uh, the headline tells you what's going on. This gives you an action item to do. Go back to the home page. I can go back to the, and same thing. It's leaving me options here so that I can go and you can go to about us. So usually I, I look for a sitemap or I go back to the, to the home page and there's a search box that I can put the keyword in. So those are two examples of 404 error pages that meet the parameters that Google wants to see in an error page. Now, if your theme doesn't have that, Let's say you get a simple theme and it just says, uh, sorry, a 404 page not found. You don't want that. So what you can do is come back into something like this, find a theme, test a theme that you like, go down to the editor, go under appearance to editor, click it, come over here under templates, 404, click that. That'll access the 404 template. You're going to see the code that created that template page, copy it, Open up your word processor or your editor, paste it, save it as, you know, your 404 code. 
And now you have readily available uh, code that you can take and go into the the theme that you uh, that you're currently using that may not have an acceptable 404 template. Get rid of it and copy in this this code here and test it out. You might have to make an adjustment. And don't forget that in a lot of these in, in this code, what you really want to look for is the copy. See right here, sorry, but that page seems to be missing. You can change that copy and, and have it say whatever you want. Please head back to the home page and perform a search. If my search box was on the left, I could probably say, please head back to the home page or perform a search on the left hand, you know, left hand search box, whatever. But you can come in here and change this copy. Don't mess with the rest of the code, but you can, you can change the copy. So that's it. It's very easy to do. And once you get uh, the hang of it, uh, you'll be able to custom design the uh, error pages that you want uh, to fit your needs. So that's it. This is, about, this is uh, how you set up a Google Happy 404 error page that meets all the requirements. And in many cases, you won't have to worry about it if the theme creator has already done it for you. So I hope this has been helpful. This is Cloth Milano Affiliate Starting Line. Stay with it, stay well, and we'll talk to you soon.